Hi Dot Fam, welcome back to my channel and remember that my channel is not made for kids and this is solely for the adult collectors or for the adults who want to purchase these products for their kids. Everyone, today is another exciting review. Today we start our Pacific Coast reviews. These reviews are going to be breaking down not by choice and not in the order that I want it to be because the release for these dolls is very weird right now. I don't think it's Rainbow High's fault. I think it's the shipping that is kind of at fault with these dolls. I'm pretty sure these dolls were supposed to release all at the same time, but their releases I think are going to be broken down because right now we only have Phaedra and Hallie that we can get and the playset. The other dolls are nowhere to be seen. Their listings are up on Amazon, but you can't order them. So luckily, I was able to get Hallie on Amazon. Y'all, it's been a struggle. I went to so many Walmarts. My stores are dead. They have not restocked anything. Not even LOLs. They haven't restocked anything. My stores are dead. It's really sad and that's why I was like struggling and hoping to find these dolls elsewhere. Luckily, Amazon was able to put a couple of these out and these dolls are selling out like crazy and now it's taking Amazon longer to get them out to you because the stock that they have it's not coming in as quickly anymore so when these come out you have to be on top of it because then now it's going to take a little bit of time for dolls to get here and i think that's going to be a big theme for this year and i think this whole shipping with the virus and everything it's really going to affect how we get our dolls now and when we get our dolls so y'all be prepared for a crazy year because it's going to be crazy Anyways, y'all, today I'm reviewing the Rainbow High Pacific Coast Hallie Capri doll. Right, I'm going to be showing you her box first, so let's look over here. Here's Miss Hallie Capri. So these dolls retail for like $31. Do I think that's worth it? We will break this down because I honestly do want to break this down. And I personally don't think it's worth it, but I want to look at everything that she has before I make my final decision. And I will have that for y'all by the end of the video. Here is Miss Hallie Capri. So Pacific Coast apparently might be like a drama reality TV show in the world of Rainbow High. And they are their own school, separate from Rainbow High. I don't understand the Rainbow branding on them. It should be Pacific Coast branding instead, but I'm not sure where that connection is. But the box is really cool. You only get one window box here, not with a second outfit, keep that in mind. You get accessories for like the beach, then you get your doll right here. Right here it does say Hallie Capri Series 1, and it says collect the rainbow. And right here I love the side of the box, and it has a palm tree with some leaves. And then on the back you can see the Rainbow High Pacific Coast box art, y'all. This is beautiful, and you see all the characters right here. You see Finn. Harper, Simone, Bella, Margot, and Phaedra, and of course Hallie right there. I think they look stunning, and I'm I'm in love with these dolls. I was kind of a little bit, maybe a little iffy at first, but I'm loving them more and more every time I do look at them. So I cannot wait to have these all in my hands, y'all. And on the back it says, Meet the students of Pacific Coast High, the most elite fine arts high school on the West Coast. Here the days are sunny, the classes are poolside, and the drama rolls in and out like the tides. So I cannot wait to see everything that's involved with this show, and I wonder if it's going to be its own thing. I'm really curious as to how they're going to handle this. And right here you can see her focus, which is fashion design like Skylar. She has been compared to Skylar a lot. I don't see it. I really don't. I really don't. She's really different. She has a whole different eye shape just because they're both blue. I'm going to make her really different and I cannot wait to restyle her because I have a lot of plans for her. And there is a sticker here that says watch on YouTube and you see the little wrap right here and it only has three characters. Kind of uh, like the rock stars and what's their name? The slumber party dolls. They only had three as opposed to the regular Rainbow High dolls. They have a whole wraparound of all the characters in that collection, but that's because they do come with a second outfit and these don't. So that's something that I wanna want y'all to sink in. They do not come with a second outfit, but I'm really excited and I cannot wait to get into her. But this is another instance where y'all need to go to my Instagram and follow because I'm gonna go live and unbox her and the playset that I got as well. And we're gonna unbox that on the live, y'all. And I'm not gonna do it alone. I'm gonna have some friends, of course. So Corinne from Not Serving Plastic, 
Bobby from Barbie Beauty Brat and Johnny from Johnny's Tour World are all going to be joining me for this MGA opening palooza. It's going to be fun and I cannot wait to talk to them and open these dolls. So I will see y'all after I'm done with the live and go make sure to follow. Links down in the description. I'll see y'all in a bit. And we're back. Alright everyone, that live was so much fun. I do hope that y'all were able to be there because that live was absolutely iconic. I love when our lives start on one topic and it spawns into a million other topics. Those are the best lives and that live honestly definitely represented that so I really hope y'all stick around and watch that one. If not, it's up on my Instagram. I save all the lives that I do and the doll fam also as well and all my other friends also save their lives so make sure to stay tuned to our feeds because that's where we post them. And now I have Miss Hallie out of the box. It has been two days and I have completely restyled her so I'll show you everything that she does come with. I think I like the idea of doing reviews like this when I do show you how they're already restyled because you see a lot of reviews are the same and it's just someone just showing the doll how it is. But I'm going to show you what you can potentially do with your doll or just how I personally styled mine. So let's begin. I'm going to start with the accessories that she doesn't have on or the alpha pieces that she does not have on and then I'll get into the doll. First off, we get this towel. I am impressed that we don't get sick in outfits, but this towel, the quality of this is amazing. It's an actual towel. Like this is actual towel quality. And this is the biggest doll towel I have ever seen ever. I don't think any other company has done this good of quality with towels. And they're usually very tiny, like a little small rectangle, like that much usually, but never like this. And this one says Rainbow High Atelier and it says Pacific View Los Angeles and this is so cool. I love the colors and it matches her so well and this towels, oh my gosh y'all, I want this for myself. They need to make these for adults because I would buy all of them and it's so pretty. I really do like it. You can wrap it around her, she can lay on it. There is so much that can be done with this and I love that they included a really large towel. One thing that you do not get with these dolls are their hangers. So thank you Chloe for reminding me that we don't get hangers with these because you don't get a second outfit so you don't get a hanger. Which I guess is okay, I don't need more hangers but it's kind of sad we won't get those colors for them because they don't have those hangers. Next we have, I guess I'll show you all this, but we have a pair of legs. Uh, I'm gonna keep all my Pacific Coast dolls on their heeled feet, even if they come with flats, because I just want consistency with my dolls. So I'm not gonna use the flat feet. I'm glad they included this. I'm glad they did this because I was one of the ones complaining. I was like, oh my gosh, they have flat feet. And I'm glad they added this so you have an option. If you don't like flat feet, you can keep them healed. Or you can keep all your Pacific Coast ones with flat feet, which is really cool. Chloe was saying in her review that it would have been better if they just made an articulated ankle. Which, yes, I agree with. And yes, I do think that too. But I, it, this is an interesting technology that I don't really think a doll line has ever done before. Besides, you know, Monster High did create a monster, but you, they all had healed feet. But this is a really, really cool thing and I'll show you how it works. It's kind of, it's not the best, but the fact that they did this for us is incredible. She does come with a comb in her color, which I think is supposed to be kind of aqua and this colored comb is beautiful. So we do get the combs. I kind of wish we didn't get a comb and got a second pair of shoes or something else, a little cover up. I would have preferred that personally. Then she does have this top, which is really pretty but I'll show y'all why I changed it. I prefer for bathing suits, the little tops, like the little bikini tops that don't really cover up much. That's just my personal style. I know why Rainbow High had to do it because you know, they're more like mainstream and they're technically high school girls, but that's how I like bathing suits and dolls that are in bathing suits. So I like that when Monster High did it, they were pretty edgy with their bathing suits when they did do it and that's why I think I grew to like those type of bathing suits. But this one is kind of like a tube top. So it's slightly larger and it has an RH right here in gold. And it has cute little palm trees or plants on it. And it's in her color aqua and it has different shades of blue on there as well. And it has a tie up here or strings so you can tie it 
around her neck and it just stays on her fine. I really do like it, but I'll show y'all what I put her in. She also came with this visor, which is really cool. It's not just a visor. It is embroidered and it does say rainbow and it's in blue. Then it goes into this wrap, which is so cool. And it has Velcro, so you can put it on and take it off. And I really do like it. It was stapled onto her head, which I didn't really like. I'm not sure because this isn't lined with anything if it's gonna fray eventually, but right now it does look really good. And I love this a lot. So I'm glad they added this. I kind of want to incorporate this with the second doll I get of her. But for this one, I think this is her restyled, like not in fully beach attire. Now let me bring my queen over here. Hallie Capri, y'all. Right now, I have looked at pictures, I have looked at other people's posts and stuff of the other Rainbow High Pacific Coast dolls. I think Hallie's my favorite. I think Hallie's my favorite. I have a fascination with blue dolls, which I didn't realize that I had until I started picking out my favorites from every collection. And I love Skylar. I love Robin. And I love Gabriella. Yeah, I have a fascination with blue dolls, y'all, and she is no exception. She is no exception. She might be top three of those blue ones. So here she is. Real quick, let me compare her with Skylar. They are slightly different. The, her Skylar's hair is a lot darker, and of course I put this one in brown eyes. I don't have a, a Skylar with blue eyes, so I can't compare that but I would say they're different. In my world, they are different. I adore this doll. Let's start with her hair and what I did with it. She came with a ponytail, very rainbow high tier with the curly swoop with gel. I washed it first. I kind of dipped it in the pool in the live. And then I was like brushing it. And it's like, whoa, she's actually really pretty with her hair down. And then I then formally washed her hair after that. And then I just self curled it and it's beautiful. Her hair is not just this aqua color. There are lighter tones and I think a darker tone in there as well. Right here you can really tell and it's kind of this beautiful mixture and she just kind of looks like the ocean and I love her so much for it. She does come with these glasses that say are that just have ours on it. They are gold and white and aqua. This little headband moment she does not come with but i did this to hold the bangs down which i cut on her she does not come with bangs but i cut them on her and i think she looks incredible in bangs and she's given me a vibe that i don't want to give away but just y'all wait for halloween i'm gonna do something but i love her she does not come with earrings but i gave her earrings gave her this cell phone gave her moana's necklace this top is from sunset from the lol omg travel dolls and I really like this top and it's shorter, that more style that I do like on her. I had to pin it because of course it's meant for OMGs, but I think it works perfectly for her. Let's go on to her face real quick. And of course she does have the matte face now and her lips are kind of like Cheryl's. They do have that outer liner for the lips and her lips are shimmery. Then her eyes are this gorgeous aqua color, y'all. They are beautiful aqua and they're kind of green as well. So it has a mixture of blues and green. I think this is a new color, maybe. I think this is a new color. Then her eyeshadow, I find to be one of my favorite eyeshadows that I have seen on any Rainbow High and it is really cool. So she has like a dark smoky out outer eye. Then she has a tiny shimmer above that. Then under her smoky eye, she does have this gorgeous glittery aqua color right there that is just stunning and it glistens and shines and it's stunning and I cannot even breathe. It is simply amazing and wonderful. It's so gorgeous. And then she does have it under but without the glitter, which I do like. She's just a stunning doll, y'all. Then she does have this skirt that she did not come with, but this skirt is from... I forget her name every single time. The Party Surprise LOL OMG doll. But it's that one. And I cut the skirt. She had three layers of it. I cut it. And I think it looks amazing on her. Then she does have the bathing suit bottoms under here. Which do match. And they are kind of high-waisted. Like they cover her belly button. 
and they do have little bows on them and they have charms on them one that says r and the other one that says h of course and they are in gold i gave her this watch right here and then she does have this purse which is incredible let me put her down to talk about this purse for a hot minute this purse is incredible y'all it is this kind of like clear plastic material and it says rainbow on it and it has blue patterns on it and it's kind of lined in blue it has these handles here in blue and they are stretchy they feel like that actual material and then they have these other handles so it can kind of go on her shoulder and they're kind of weaved beautifully and it is indeed black and gold which is really nice and then on top it's stitched with this blue kind of leathery fabric and that i think just sits on the shoulder so it doesn't bother you the detail on this is incredible it has actual loopholes in here y'all this is such a nice bag this is one of the best pool bags i have ever seen for a doll and i think it's just simply incredible then we go down to her feet and she does have this scrunchie that she had on her ponytail which you couldn't really tell from the box but she does have it which is really cool so i put it around her ankle because i think surfboarders kind of wear that i think that's kind of like a beachy thing so that's why i did it and then she does have these sandals which again i'm gonna put heels on them so they are heels but these are so cute these are all plastic you would think these would be ribbons but they're plastic and it kind of has brianna dulce in the middle there and it does say rainbow on there and i love the multiple paint on them and everything and it's incredible and then her stand it's gorgeous 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 like the ocean i adore her so much so let's rip her legs off or one of her legs so this is how you do it you take this right and you just pull it here i'm gonna try to do this for y'all just be prepared you take this off right and then you have the nub here right 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 and then i'm gonna get the other foot it tells you they do say right on there I'm not sure if you can see they do say have a little r for right and then right here they have a little r so you can match them up easily and then you just it's harder to get on than to take off just so you know i do it easily and okay this time it was easier and then that's the difference between a flat foot and the heeled foot the heels make them slightly taller which is interesting and let me see the mobility on this because they still have a lot of mobility and let me see yeah they still have a lot of mobility in the leg yeah they kind of still do the same mobility they move the same they we didn't lose any articulation with them including this it's just a bonus that we get this honestly it's a bonus it's a bonus it is a little scary to do at first because you think you're breaking something or doing it wrong but it's meant to be like that and then you can just put it on and she looks incredible so what did y'all think of hallie capri i'm obsessed with her i can already see her being one of my top rainbow high that i have i really like her y'all i really like her and she is stunning i cannot wait to see the other dolls these dolls are releasing so slowly i might have phaedra soon no idea if they're gonna put her at my walmart so i have to go check tomorrow if they have her I'm obsessed. She's uh, right now one of my favorite dolls of the year. I don't, I only have three dolls that I got this year, but she's already my favorite. I adore her and I cannot wait to see what Rainbow High does this year. I'm excited. Okay, and lastly, I can't believe I forgot this, but it's because I don't have them on her. These shorts are hers and she had them over her bottom bathing suit and it's kind of like a cover up they're cute but i can't put for my mini because i hate hid them on her so now it's for my mini and we're rocking a whole beach attire now which is everything all right y'all so let me know what y'all think about miss hallie in the comments down below i'm obsessed with her and i need to hear your thoughts as well have you had good luck finding them at walmart because that's all, the only place they've been showing up and they have also been on amazon so let me know if y'all are having luck finding her because it's, this release has kind of been a mess and it's gonna be like that i think for the rest of this year so y'all be prepared for a crazy roller coaster of a year with these doll releases and be patient 
we all have to learn patience this year for sure. It's definitely affecting us this year. Instead of last year, it was kind of good. But this year, y'all, we need to be ready. Anyways, y'all, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell notification so you're notified of my next video. And I will see y'all next time. Bye!